um, so today is literally about um, me giving you some knowledge. You guys can basically ask me any questions at the end. It's a fun session. Uh, we're going to look at attack, as I said earlier. We're going to look at some defensive stuff. So sometimes we have people right in front of us and we don't know what to do with the pass or we need to make sure we get out of the line of the defender so that we can have a clear path of the ball. Um, we're gonna, so we're going to get around a three foot marker and then we're going to front and back cut. So that might sound like a whole load of gibberish to you, so. <laughs> <laughs> but it will be slowly broken down. So, I've had a look, and I'm going to say, what I really want to do for you is, I can see the, the intensity to get back and get your arms over, but I'm seeing some habits, did I say. So some of us do this, naturally. Some of us do that, naturally. I want you to get a quick foot mark, just like, back, hands over. I know it feels weird, because you're doing it, there's no ball, there's nothing going on. But I want to see that. As soon as that person turns, get back, hands over. Did you really get serious about your netball? If you didn't start till year seven, at what point did you start to kind of develop or get or get some vibes from who, your coaches? So I, so my teacher was probably one of the main influences for me to go forward. So she was like, oh my gosh, Sasha, you need to play. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it was kind of like between, for me, athletics and netball, because I loved athletics as well. And the way that I kind of got, I guess, I wouldn't say fast track, but I did the county system and then I played in the Alex Barlis, which is where a lot of, um, well, all the counties come together in a massive um, uh, tournament. And I just played and there were selectors around and I, I guess you just kind of get picked up that way, talent ID'd. Mm. And that's kind of how it kind of happened. So what 